Who are suffering from avidya, nescience, karma, karma desire, desire, karma bhi, karma bhi by execution of fruitive work, work. shravana, hearing, hearing. smarana, remembering. remembering, arhani, arhani. worshipping, karishyan, may perform, iti, thus, kechana, others. Translation. And yet others say, that you appeared to rejuvenate the devotional service of hearing, remembering, worshipping, and so on, in order that the conditioned souls suffering from material pangs might take advantage and gain liberation. Sir, Asmin Bhave, Asmin means this. Creation. Bhave means creation. Bhava. Bhava means you become. Uh, you become means you vanish also. As soon as there is question of you become, to vanish also. Anything which is born must die. This is the law of nature. Uh, the so-called scientists are trying uh, that they will stop death by their scientific research work. But they do not know that anything born must die. Janma mrittu. This is relative. Uh, and anything which is not born, that will not die. The matter is born. Anything material that is born. But spirit is not born. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, na jayate na vriyati va kadachi. Uh, the soul is never born and therefore never dies. So bhava is mean. Bhava, the bhava means this material world, cosmic manifestation. Uh, bhava is mean klishamananam. Anyone who is within this material world uh, must work. This is material world. Just like in the prison house, it is not possible that he will sit down and he will be honored just like son-in-law. No. In our country, son-in-law is very much worshipped. Hmm. What it means, flattered, may not divorce the daughter. Therefore, nobody should expect uh, and we may speak something humorous about son-in-law in India. Formerly, it is still uh, the system that the daughter must get married. That is the responsibility of the father. It is called kunnada. A father may not get his son married. And that is not very great responsibility. But if there is a daughter, the father must see that she is married. Formerly it was 10 years, 12 years, 13 years, not more than that. That is the system, that was the basic system. Kanya. 
Kanya means before attaining puberty. Kanya. The Kanya da. She must be given in charity to somebody. So, in the Kulin Brahman, Brahmana, very respectable community. <coughs> so, it was very difficult to find out a suitable son in law. Therefore, formally, one gentleman may become a businessman simply by marrying. <coughs> in my boyhood, when I was a student, a school student, so I had one class friend. He took me to his home. So I saw one gentleman who was smoking, and he told me, Do you know this gentleman? So I asked, oh, How can I know? Now, he is my aunt's husband, and my aunt is the 64th wife of this gentleman. Sixty-fourth. So these Kulin Brahmins, they, their business was like that, marry somewhere, stay there some days, again go to another wife, again go to another wife, again go to another wife. Simply going to the wife, that is business. This was a social system we have seen. Now these things are now gone. Uh, Nobody will marry the husband who has married sixty-four times. <laughs> but it was there. So Sanilla, in that case, is very much honored. There are many stories. We should not waste our time in that way. <laughs> so here, in this material world, who is born, he should not think himself that I am honored guest or honored son in law. No. Everyone has to work. Uh, then you see the whole world. In your country, there is president everywhere. Think he is also working hard day and night. Otherwise, he cannot keep his presidency. It is not possible. The whole brain is congested with political affairs and so many problems, solutions. He has to work. Uh, similarly, uh, a man on the street, he has to work also. Uh, this is the nature, material nature. You have to work. Uh, it is not the spiritual world. Spiritual world means there is no work. There is simply uh, ananda, joyfulness. Just you see from reading Krishna book, uh, they are not working. Uh, Krishna is going with the calves and the cows. That is not working. That is amusement. That is amusement. They are dancing. They are going to the forest, uh, they are sitting down on the bank of the Ganges. Sometimes uh, the demons are attacking, Krishna is killing. This is all pleasure, amusement, ānandamaya bhyāsā. That is spiritual. Uh, let's like take a sample of spiritual activity. We are. Uh, we have got so many branches, so many members, but we are not working. Simple is sample of spiritual life. Uh, our neighbors are envious. How these people dancing and chanting and eating? <laughs> uh, because they are working hard like cats and dogs. And we have no such responsibility. We haven't got to go to office or factory. Uh, just see practical example. This is only a little tinge of spiritual life. Uh, simply you are trying to come to the spiritual life, a sample. In the sample is so much enjoyment, 
in this sample. Just imagine what is reality. Anyone can realize this is practical. Uh, to take to spiritual life, we are inviting. Please come, join us, dance with us, take prasadam, be happy. No, no, we shall work. <laughs> Let's see. What is our business? We are canvassing simply. Please come. No. Why? I shall work like cats and dogs. That's all. <coughs> so, just try to understand, this is the difference between spiritual life and material life. Material life means you have to work. You will be forced. Uh, avidya karma sangha anya tritya shakti rishyate uh, while analyzing the energy of Krishna in the Vishnu Puran, it is said, Vishnu Shakti Paraprutya. Vishnu, Vishnu's energy is para, superior energy or spiritual energy. Para. Para and opera, you have read in the Bhagavad Gita. Aparayam itasthu vidhimi prakitim para. When Krishna is analyzing two kinds of nature, para and apara, inferior and superior. This is also nature, bhumi, rapa, anala, bayu, land, water, fire, air. This is also Krishna's nature. Krishna says, vidhime prakiti astadha, these eight kinds of material nature, they are my nature, they are my energy. But they are aparayam, but this is inferior nature. And there is another superior nature. What is that, sir? Jiva Bhuta, this living energy. These rascals do not know that there are two natures working, material nature and spiritual nature. The spiritual nature is within the material nature, therefore it is what? Otherwise material nature has no power to work independently. This simple thing, the so-called scientists cannot understand. <coughs> so, here in this material world, asmin bhave, bhave asmin, uh, saptame, adhikaram, asmin, in this material world, Bhavesh <clears throat> means klishamananam. Everyone, uh, everyone, every living entity is working hard. Uh, hard or soft, it doesn't matter. One has to work. It doesn't matter. Uh, just like we are also working. Uh, it may be soft, but it is also work. But it is practicing, therefore it is work. We should not take this work. Bhakti is not actually uh, the fruitive activities. It appears like that. It is also working. But the difference is when you are engaged in devotional service, you will not feel tired. And the material work, you will feel tired. That is the difference, practical. Uh, materially, you take one cinema song and chant, uh, so after half an hour you will be tired. And Hare Krishna go on chanting twenty-five hours. You will never be tired. Is it not? Just see practically. Uh, you take one's material name, Mr. John, Mr. John, Mr. John, how many times you chant? <laughs> Ten times, twenty times, finished. But Krishna, 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 go on chanting. You'll get more energy. That is the difference. But the foolish person, they think they are also working like us. They are also... Uh, doing like us. Uh, 
No, that is not. Hmm. So they try to understand. Material nature means anyone who has come here in this material world. It is not our business to come here. But we have desire to come here. Ah. That is also mentioned here. Krishamanam Avidya Kama Karma Bhi. Why they have come here? No, Avidya. Avidya means need science. Uh, ignorance. Uh, what is that ignorance? Kama. Kama means desire. They are meant for serving Krishna, but they desire. Then why shall I serve Krishna? I shall become Krishna. This is Abhita. This is Abhita. Instead of serving, that, that is natural. Sometimes it comes just like a servant is serving the master. He is thinking, if I could get such money, then I could have become a master. That is not unnatural. So when the living entity thinks he is coming from Krishna, Krishna bhulya jeevi bhogavan chakare. When he forgets Krishna, that is material life. That is material life. As soon as one forgets Krishna, then we see so many, not many, some of our students, they think, well, why should I work in this mission? Uh, let me go away. He goes away, but what does he do? He becomes a motor driver. That's all. Uh, instead of getting honor as brahmachari, sannyasi, he said he, he has to work just like ordinary worker. Uh, so, uh, avidya kama karvati. Kama. Kama means desire. Just like so many scientists, they are researching uh, for new food. Just like our scientist friend was talking this morning. Uh, then what is new food? Uh, food is already there, uh, allotted by Krishna, that you are this animal, your food is this, you are this animal, your food is this. Uh, so, so far human being is concerned, uh, their food is also designated that you take prasadam patram pustram phalam toyam jumi bhakta prajachati. It is the duty of the human being to accept prasadam. Uh, prasadam means food stuff which is offered to Krishna first. Uh, this is civilization. If you say, why should I offer? Uh, that is uncivilized. It is gratefulness. If you offer to Krishna, then you are conscious that these foodstuffs, these grains, these fruits, these flowers, this milk, it is given by Krishna. I cannot produce it. In my factory, I cannot produce all these things. Anything one is. Nobody can produce. It is given by Krishna. Eka jo bohunam vidudhati kama, this kama. How we are desiring. And Krishna is supplying. Without his supply, you cannot get it. Just like in our India, after independence, the leaders thought, now we have got independence. We shall increase the tractors and other agricultural implements, and we will get enough food. Now, at the present moment, since two years, there is scarcity of no water. There is no rainfall. So these tractors are now crying. You see, it is useless. Uh, Simply by so-called tractors, implements, you cannot produce unless there is favor by Krishna. Uh, he must supply water. That for one time, recently the news is that people are so exasperated that they went to the secretary, they demanded food, and 
the result was a short, short town. Yeah, so many people die. So, uh, actually, although we have got this arrangement that one has to work, uh, but that work is simple. Uh, if you remain Krishna conscious, that after all Krishna is supplying the food stock. That's a fact. Every religion accepts that. Just like in Bible it is said, God give us our daily bread. That's a fact. God is giving. Like you, are, you cannot manufacture bread. You can, you can manufacture bread in the bakery. Oh. But the wheat supply you the wheat. Uh, that is supplied by Krishna. Eko jo bahunam vidhati So we have created unnecessary problem simply by forgetting Krishna. This is the material nature. Bhavesh means Krishna mana. Therefore we have to work so hard. Krishanti, uh, uh, there is another verse in the Bhagavad Gita, manasasthani prakitisthani karasati. Karsati, even is struggling very hard. Uh, but ultimately, sense gratification. Ultimate. In this material world, means sense gratification because karma, karma means sense gratification. Uh, uh, karma, the just opposite word is love. Uh, calm, and calm means lust, and love remains. Uh, loving Krishna. Uh, so that is wanted. But here in this material world, they are engaged in very, very hard work. They have invented so many <coughs> factories, iron factories, uh, melting the iron, huge machinery, and it is called Ugra karma, asurik karma. Uh, after all, you will eat some bread and some fruits and some flowers. Why you have invented so big, big factories? Uh, and that is avidya, <coughs> nisan, avidya. Uh, suppose hundred years ago there was no factory, so all the people of the world were starving. Uh, nobody was starving. Uh, in, 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 in our Vedic literature we don't find any mention anywhere about the factory. No. There is no mention. And how opulent they were, even in Vrindavan. Uh, in Vrindavan, as soon as Kongsa invited Nanda Maharaj, immediately they took wagons of uh, milk preparation to distribute. Uh, and you will find in the literature they are all well dressed, well fed, uh, they have got enough food, enough milk, enough cows. Uh, but they are a village, village man. Vrindavan is a village. There is no scarcity, uh, no moroseness, all is jolly, uh, dancing, chanting, and eating. So we have created these problems. Simply have created. Now we have created so many hot stage carriages. Uh, now the problem is where to get petrol. In your country, it has become a problem. Uh, Brahmananda was speaking to me yesterday. There are so many problems. Simply, unnecessarily, we have created so many artificial wants. Uh, kama karma vi, this is called kama. Uh, uh, so everyone, because of that unlimited desire, one after another, uh, this desire, when this desire fulfilled, another desire, another desire, another desire, in this way you are simply creating problems. And when the desires are not fulfilled, then we become frustrated, confused. The frustration is there. Uh, one kind of frustration, just like in your country, the hippies, that is also frustration. Another kind of frustration is a, just like in our country, uh, that is very old frustration to become sannyas. So to become sannyasi, Brahma Satya Jagan Mithya, this world is false. 
how it is false. Uh, he could not utilize it properly, therefore it is false. It is not false. Ah. Vaishnava philosophy is, this world is not false. Ah. It is fact. Ah. But false when he thinks that I am the enjoyer of this world. That is false. If we accept it, that it is Krishna's and it should be utilized for Krishna's service, then it is not false. Oh. We have given in this example that these flowers, these flowers, they are in the florist shop, there are so many flowers. Uh, the people are purchasing, we are purchasing, others are purchasing. They are purchasing for sense gratification. And we are purchasing for Krishna. The flower is the same. Uh, so one may ask that you are offering Krishna, Krishna is the Supreme Spirit, how you are offering material things, this flower. Uh, but they do not know that actually there is nothing as material. When you forget Krishna, that is material. That is material. Uh, this flower is meant for Krishna, this is spiritual. And when we take it, this flower, for my sense, this is material. Uh, this is avidya. Avidya means uh, ignorance. Nothing belongs to me. Ishava samidam sadvam. Everything belongs to Krishna. Uh, therefore, our movement is for awakening this Krishna consciousness. Uh, we should know that everything belongs to Krishna. Krishna is fact. The world is fact. Uh, this world is created by Krishna, therefore it is also fact. So everything is fact when it is done in Krishna consciousness. Otherwise it is uh, maya, avidya. Uh, so by avidya, by ignorance, we want to enjoy uh, sense gratification. And we create problems. We create so many artificial uh, work. Ugra karma. Although uh, we are in avidya, by the grace of Krishna, everything is very simplified. Uh, just like anywhere, any part of the world, uh, there is food. Everything is there complete. Purnamina. Purnamina. Just like somebody is living in the Greenland, Alaska. Uh, that the atmosphere is not very uh, favorable to our consideration, but they are living, the inhabitants there, there is some arrangement. Uh, similarly, if you study minutely everywhere, just like there are millions and millions of fishes in the water, uh, if you are put on a boat and you have to leave for, say, one month, then you will die. Uh, you have no food for you. But there, in the, uh, within the water, there are millions and millions of fishes. They have got enough food. Enough food. Not a single fish will die for want of food. Uh, but if you are put into the water, you will die. Uh, so similarly, uh, by God's creation, there are 8,400,000 species of form of life. Uh, so God has given everyone food. Uh, just like even if you are in the prison house, the government provides your food. Uh, similarly, although this material world is to be considered as prison house for the living entity, still there is no scarcity of anything. Uh, our necessity so far, our bodily necessities are concerned, and eating, sleeping, and mating, and defending. That is arranged for everyone according to his life. That is arranged. So in the lower species of life, they cannot understand that everything is there, arranged. Although they know, just like a bird, a bird rises in the early morning, he knows there is some food. He knows. Uh, but still, he is busy to find out the food. Uh, uh, 
So little uh, business, little flying from one tree to another, he, he says, enormous fruits, all the small and big, there are so many fruits they can eat. Uh, similarly, uh, for all the living entities, there is arrangement for food, uh, food, drink, uh, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. There is arrangement. Uh, even in Africa, there are some trees which produces fruits. Those fruits are harder than the iron bullet. Uh, but these fruits are used by the gorillas. Uh, they collect those fruits just like we chew some nuts. So they also enjoy chewing that nut. But it is so hard. Uh, I read in some book. Uh, so perhaps you also know the, the quarter of the jungle where gorillas live, God gives them fruit. Yes, here is your food. Uh, so there is everything arranged. Uh, there is no scarcity. We have created scarcity of idya due to ignorance. Uh, otherwise there is no scarcity. Purnamida. Uh, therefore, you should open your senses. Purnam. Everything is complete. Uh, just like we want water. Uh, we want water very much. Just see how God has created these oceans. You can take the what, whatever water we are using, that is from the ocean. The stock is there. It is simply distributed from the stock. Uh, by nature's arrangement, God, God's arrangement, it is evaporated by sunshine. It is evaporated and it becomes gases, cloud. The water is there. By other arrangement, this water is distributed all over the surface. And it is stored on the top of the hill uh, to supply you constantly. The river is coming down. Uh, the whole, throughout the whole year, the water supply is there. Uh, in this way, we study the whole situation and creation of the law. You will find everything is complete, perfect. That is philosophy. Uh, everything is complete. There is no necessity. Our only necessity is that we take advantage of Krishna's arrangement. 